When picking the music for Mass, the objective is, is that you find the, the hymns and the songs that teach the scriptures that are part of the Mass, so that when the Mass is done, the music has supported the scriptures, the scriptures have supported the music, and what we're being asked to learn that day in Mass is just reinforced by everything we do. Your knowledge of hymns is important. The hymnals literally will help you do things. Uh, I have an old ritual song hymnal here, the music office copy, I might add. Scripture passages related to hymns. There's one place. Then we go over here and we've got the next set of indices. Look how many of those there are. Hymns and Psalms for the church year. Then if I skip a number, liturgical index of hymns and then topical index of hymns. So the hymnals are designed to help us pick things quickly but properly. And if, you're, if you get good at that, they'll almost come to your mind immediately once you read the scripture and go, oh, I want to do that one. The approval process is an interesting one. I'm full-time at the cathedral, so therefore it becomes my responsibility. Some parishes, of course, may have a liturgical committee that picks these things together, and Father may or may not be part of that committee. Every church is individual. Um, it, it becomes a matter of the trust, the trust of the musicians and the trust of the priest, that things will be properly picked accordingly. Um, as I said, since I'm full-time, full time, it's just handed to me to do it. But I'm very aware if I were to do something inappropriate or something that maybe they didn't like, I would be cautioned about that. Uh, when I first got here, I was given a list that the priest that was the uh, rector of the cathedral at the time said, do not do these songs in the cathedral. Got it. There are musicians that we are not supposed to use some of their music in the mass nowadays. Got it. On the other hand, a lot of common sense just comes into play. That opening number needs to be a rousing big number, and the, the recessional needs to be a rousing big number. The communion hymn needs to have something about the body and blood of Christ. And then for me personally, the preparation of gifts song is usually, I hope, reinforcing whatever the gospel reading was that you know Father used some of that in his homily. Don't just pick your favorites. These hymnals have so many, many songs in them. And if you're using Breaking Bread, the book is just packed with so much kind of music. Make sure that you're not stuck in a rut of just the things that you like, that you're learning more music and your congregation is learning more music because you'll find what happens is those things become the beloved songs too, they're going to like you because you're introducing more beautiful music to them. And at the same time, don't abandon the great old traditional hymns of the church because they play an important part in who we are and what that means in our singing as worshipers. There are times where we'll hear a familiar tune, but it'll have different words to it. Uh, for instance, the tune of Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee has three different sets of words here in the, in the hymnal. And again, it's so that those words are supporting what the scripture lessons are of the given mass of the day. For those of us that are really into it, and I'm one of those, the bottom of every hymn page tells you the meter of the song and the lyrics. There's another index in the hymnal where I can go and find other tunes that have the exact same meter of words that maybe if my congregation, my, my church doesn't know one tune, they would know the other tune and then you put these new words to them and suddenly, once again, you're teaching the lessons of the scriptures of the Mass, but you're making it easy for everybody to sing and enjoy being there. Is being here, playing the organ, and hearing everyone sing with it. That's my favorite. Uh, let me tell you, come to the cathedral for an ordination. 
Man, when all of those priests are up front and they all start singing, it's everything our church is designed for musically. It's just magnificent. Come to midnight mass at the cathedral if you have an opportunity. Everybody's there because they want to be and they're celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior and the singing is just magnificent. So what's the joy? Playing the music that I was taught to play, giving that music to the church and hearing the church give their music back as they sing along with it.